Hello guys, you are watching Technology Welfare. Let's learn and watch with practical in this tutorial how to roll back or downgrade iOS from iOS 26.02, iOS 18.5 or 18 or maybe 17. Either it is a signed IPSW or unsigned iOS, of course. This can be the possible, but of course, if you watch step by step and do it, if your iPhone is not recommending to a downgrade, however, of course, by these techniques, you can downgrade. So don't worry, without losing any data, without jailbreaks, jailbreaks is not required at the point. Also, without any hassle at your home, with the help of laptop or PC, you can do it, not automatically. So see, firstly, I would like to show you here. If I back and then of course we will have to come in a setting. So let's see. Tap on a setting. Setting to of course we will come in a general. Mm, click on a general. General to of course click on a software update and it thinks that it's up to date guys here. Of course see here it's up to date this has. This is a beta version that I have. Now here we can see this up to date we don't have any opportunity if we go for automatic off then what will happens there is no options here is also no options to a downgrade so how do I especially downgrade we will see live here now yes we are up to date so for everything just to you <laughs> Here right now we would like to the imports. So how would I just simply let's imports? We have kept on this DAX of this IPSW. So now it has been imported quickly. Now see what we will do, guys. Here right now, simply just without losing any data, we would like to add then we will select the retain user data. If we click on a retain user data, what will happens here, guys? If we click on a retain user data, then it would be a all the apps and application would be at hands. If you go for quick flash, then of course you will be able to lose your data. If you go for fixed flash, then of course you are going to only once. You will lose everything, so all the data, but you will be able to go for the fix. Yeah, this option is specialized for yes when iOS is damaged and it has been stuck on the Apple logo. Then of course you will go with anti recovery means you won't be able to recover the any data. So just we will go for the retain user data by using. Let's say tab, so it's asking for the fixation of this thing, etc. etc. Just we will go for here. So now here we will have to click on a yes, then it will start.